the one thing that affects your heart directly is your size of your meal. The bigger the meal, the larger the requirement of blood from the heart. So the heart has to work so hard after a large meal. Having a large meal is like almost running a mile as far as the heart is concerned. So that's why it's called a hearty meal because the heart is the one organ that meal touches. That's why, what is the lesson you learnt? Small meal. S-M-A-L-L-M-E-A-L. But more frequently, you can healthy time is six meals a day. Six meals a day. Intervals of not more than two and a half hours. Never keep an interval of longer than two and a half hours between meals. Meal doesn't mean every meal should be like what is served there. No, no, no. no. Meal is a feed. Okay? I'll give you a very simple formula. 8 to 8.30, a small breakfast, which is a must. Never skip a breakfast. That is the most important meal of the day. But very small. For South Indians, the best thing is idli. Idli is very nutritious, very hygienic. It is not touched by the hand. And idli made out of brown rice. Never eat white rice because his white rice is as good as useless and as bad as poison. Eat brown rice. And the browner the rice, the better. Not brown by color. You know, you get now colored rice. Not <laughs> that. Real brown rice with husk. Adhuvan. Then, North Indians, what do you have? I don't know really. Chapati and all is not good food actually for breakfast. Something made out of, um, you don't have anything made out of rice in North India. Um, well, yes and no. Because, you know, too much of fruits alone will give you a lot of fructose, which is not good for the body. Don't eat only fruits the whole day. No, no, no. That's not a good idea. You can have a fruit a day, a fruit a, a week. Once a week you can have a fruit day. Doesn't matter. Whole day fruit. Morning fruit, afternoon fruit, evening fruit. Fruit, 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 fruit juice. Good because you are giving rest to the digestive system. But the whole day fruit is not a good idea at all. Because the breakfast of the day, because you are fasting for about 8 to 9 hours at night. Remember that. The first thing is very important. There, so you must have a small breakfast. Mid-morning is very important, about 10.30 to 11, something small. Lunch, again small, about 12.30, 1.30, between 12.30 and 1.30. Evening, again 3.30, something small. Dinner, 6.30, small. Supper, small thing at 9.30. So, six meals a day. This is very good to prevent diabetes and prevent metabolic disease. And if you are a diabetic, Six meals a day is a must. Never have one meal a day. Very dangerous. A lot of people say, I eat only once, I have no time. I eat only once. Very, very bad for health. Because your metabolism is so upset. You require a smooth metabolism. The whole day it must be like that. Small meal. As small as you can. The smaller you eat, the longer you live. The bigger the meal, the shorter you live. But remember, it is not what you eat that kills you. It is what eats you that kills you. What eats you? What's eating you? Negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. No more than worries, hatred. Which is called hostility in our language. You are a hostile person. You don't want somebody to come up in life. You are not happy when someone comes up in life. You are unhappy when somebody comes up in life. You want to have his position. You want to look up and compare yourself with the higher people. Never compare yourself with the lower people. I always tell people, look down, you are very happy. Now you may say, I have only two shirts. Look at people who have no shirt at all. Why shirt? They have only a loincloth. They are still alive. When Gandhiji went to meet the king for a round table conference, as he was going, somebody said, Oh, you must be properly dressed to see the king. So he said, why? Your king has dress enough for about 10 people and I, I just, I have enough dress for myself and he has enough dress for all of us and he can give some of it to me if he thinks I am not properly dressed. So, look down, you are very happy. Now, what you eat, I am not worried. You eat what you like. Okay, each one of you have preference. Doesn't matter. It's a day. It really doesn't matter. But don't eat a big meal. 
Number one, it affects the heart. Number two, this L tryptophan cuts your light out sleep interval. This is what's called a light out sleep interval. Do you know that? Some of you, when you put off your light and go to sleep, within two seconds you start snoring. Some of you roll in bed for one hour, struggling to fall asleep. This interval is called light out sleep interval, which is different for different people. Remember that? But this L tryptophan shortens that. That is why your old granny used to tell you, before you go to bed in the evening, have a cup of milk. Because you, you fall off, children always are a nuisance at night, you know, if they don't sleep. So nanny wanted to put them to sleep. That's all right for a child. But as an adult, don't drink milk when you go to bed. Milk is poison. If you, In the first place, cow's milk is poison for a human being. That's a different story. But milk is poison for you in the evening and night. It increases the secretion of mucus in your respiratory tract. Makes you feel difficult to breathe at night. If you are an asthmatic, milk is poison at night. You should not take milk products the whole day if you ask me. But if you want to take it, take it before 12 o'clock. After that, no, no milk product. Never spoil your beautiful coffee with milk. Never poison your beautiful tea with milk because coffee and tea as such are good. Never ever poison yourself with white sugar. The best is cane, next is jaggery, but not sugar. If you know how they make sugar from jaggery, you will not ever look at sugar. Crude food produced by nature is good. Raw wheat is good, but refined wheat is bad. Preserved wheat is worse, and bread is probably much worse than anything else. White bread. So everything brown is okay, but small quantity. Remember that. So that much about the food, I don't want to tell you more. Three principles, A, more frequent meals, small meals at frequent intervals, number one. Number two, no large meal at all. Number three, after a meal, do not do anything strenuous. Four, if you are above the age of 60, do not get up from your dining table for half an hour after you finish the meal. And when you get up also, get up slowly. Because when you eat a meal, about seven to eight times more blood goes into the gut. So to that extent, when you get up suddenly and if you are above 60, and if your veins don't really work well, you suddenly collapse. You get a fainting attack. Lot of old people get a stroke immediately after a meal and getting up or walking. The last thing. Now, the important thing about meal is, you must give rest for the gut once a week, maybe once a month, and our ancestors knew that. So every 15 days you get an Ekadashi, the first day of the half month. And that day you fast. And fasting is good for health. But don't you fast continuously. Very bad. Continuous fasting will give you ketosis. Never do that. One day fast. Maybe fasting in the beginning you can eat one small meal because suddenly if you start that you feel very weak that day. Then gradually leave that also. That day if you want madam's fruit, morning fruit, afternoon fruit, evening fruit, in between fruit and fruit and fruit. But then next day don't make it a fruit a day, every day. You must have fruits every day, three times. And that is a three meals of fruit. Mid-morning fruit, evening fruit, supper fruit. And with that your drink can be anything but I would prefer good water as the best drink. Anything colored is bad. That, you know, coffee, tea, uh, juice. And don't you take anything preserved. They all have preservatives which are poison. No tinned drinks, no bottled drinks, no colored juices, and no nothing. And if you want to have fruit juice, I would prefer fruit to fruit juice. Any fruit is better than fruit juice. Of all the juices, the best juice for the human body is beetroot juice. Beetroot. One other story is the darker the fruit, darker the vegetable, the better it is for health. It's more antioxidants. Berries, dark berries, blueberries. Blueberries are very good. Now banana is a very good fruit. But banana's cover is fantastic fruit. Food. We don't eat that. You must wash it nicely and eat it with the cover. And it's no nice. And you don't know banana cover has so much medicinal properties. 
if you have a pimple or something girls have a pimple instead of going for a very expensive thing you peel off the banana cover inside there is one cover you understand that the inside is a whitish thing you peel it off and just stick it there in another four hours time the pimple would have disappeared raw banana green banana you cut it into thin slices and if you have acidity problem instead of taking the poison from the drug companies you just eat the two pieces in the morning two pieces in the afternoon two pieces at night banana with its green cover and you will simply not have any even ulcers can be treated with just raw banana raw banana is very common in kerala that green banana and banana is a fantastic fruit because it contains so much of potassium so much of potassium so the best drink if you want to drink best drink under the sun is coconut water it's just like your blood when we were students we never use sometimes a short supply of this saline etc for cholera patients we used to directly give coconut water into the blood and they used to recover so fast so coconut was very good i am telling the coconut board you can this tin it or make it into paper sachets and sell it they are saying it becomes costly we can't compete with this drug companies we can't advertise we have no money i said if you keep on doing that they'll be very happy to sell all those poisonous uh, colored bottles coconut water is the best that's about food now what work ayurveda says to be healthy samikshakari work very very hard but what kind of work the work which a human being should do running is not human beings work playing tennis is not human beings work playing cricket is not human beings work or playing football is not human beings work you can do it for fun for a little while but that's not an exercise it's a bad exercise for the joints you probably don't know that most cricketers that you think of have had 10 15 operations for their joints and most yale university kept record all the gold medalists were dead by the time they were 50 55 the silver medalists lived up to 60 the bronze medalists were there still for 65 and the also rans were there up to 100 <coughs> running is very bad for health jogging is killing never jog walking is the best thing there are lot of things in walking a walk every day minimum half an hour maximum one hour walk at your own pace and don't be in a hurry while walking and the advantage another advantage of walking is whomsoever you meet on the way give them a smile that will improve your health so much one smile one natural smile will release about 500 good chemicals in the body and exercise 152 muscles in the face and the neck one natural smile one grin that is when you, when you want to vote <laughs> like that that will wrongly exercise about 180 muscles and release all poisons into the blood <coughs> the smile must come from the heart not from the face the heart must be in the face and the face must be in the heart which is possible because both the heart and the face are in you so do that you will get advantage third if you don't have anybody to speak to while walking talk to the birds when they chirp in the morning talk to the trees when they are dancing in the breeze talk to the bushes on the side and enjoy that one full hour third somebody asked a very good question it seems he is told that have 8 hours sleep otherwise you will not live long i am not aware of any researcher who has done a prospective study of people sleeping for long time to find out how much one sleeps i can give you examples of great people who have lived long having slept 2 to 3 hours Winston Churchill used to sleep only for three and a half hours every day. All his life, he ate like a pig, smoked like a chimney, and drank like a fish. Not what the fish drinks, something else. Still lived, of course, with the disabilities up to the age of eighty-nine. But the last twenty odd years were so miserable because he was so breathless even sitting, because he was smoking so much. But he did not die. and he slept only for 3 and a half hours there was a great man called denny brown one professor of neurology in edinburgh a great man who died at the age of 
and he slept only two and a half hours every day of his adult life. Only two and a half hours. But I would not go to that extreme. You know how much sleep you need. You must remember that. 